Former Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe in 2015 had asked the universities in Japan to either abolish or reorganize humanities and social science departments, hereafter referred to as liberal arts interchangeably. While Abe could not see the decision to an end, he did start a conversation nonetheless, a conversation on the relevance of humanities and social sciences education. In the Indian context, the discussion becomes even fierce for the institutions of liberal arts have been reduced to a factory of churning them with simpletons, indoctrinated to certain pre-molded ideologies, political and religious beliefs. Hi and welcome, you are watching TFI English, the national socio-political analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host Tribhuvan and in this video, I will tell you how anti-Hindu adverts are directly linked to anti-Hindu faculties in arts and media colleges. Let's begin. The institutions of the liberal arts are led by Marxist and leftist professors and their young striplings who then dip their hands in the advertising industry. The companies often get swayed by their swanky social justice, activism-ridden presentations and give the nod to their supposed creative ideas. However, when those ads go live, the ad agency generates the woke points but the companies being advertised are left to fend off an angry public whose emotions and religious sentiments are often hurt by such ads. JNU, TISS, IIMC, Mudra are some of the leading art institutions in the country. The anti-Hindu ideas propagated from these institutions need no documentation. And thus, when the revolutionary little prodigies stuffed with Einstein-esque ideas of social sciences step into the real world, the Chomskys and Fruits have a hard time competing with their activism. Collectively, such liberal institutions slow down on the process of producing high-quality creative minds and deprive India of bright, fun and scoped intellectuals. The point of liberal institutes was to broaden the horizon of human minds to see clear, pristine and engaging conversations regarding myriad everyday human problems devoid of any partisanship and come up with out-of-the-box clever ideas to critically help the human race. However, the exact opposite seemed to have happened since the idea was laid into stone. While there is a dearth of studies in the Indian context, a 2016 study published in Econ Journal Watch stated that in the disciplines of the social sciences, it was found that there were 11.5 Democrats for every Republican teacher in 40 premier institutes of the US. Use a similar barometer for the Indian context and one will realize that there is not much of a difference here as well. It's the folklore. A running joke, one might say that majority of the professors are left-leaning or communist in arts and liberal institutions, scurrying around in the campuses with a weary, worn-out satchel, sandals with socks on and a copy of the Communist Manifesto in their hands. Each one of us that has been part of the education system in any capacity has seen the implicit and explicit behavior of the professors. More often than not, the students learning the ropes under the highly obnoxious professors in the liberal arts schools are indoctrinated with their worldview. The end result is that we see ads such as Tanish's Ekatvam campaigns which appears severely disjointed from reality. It's not that Hindus nowadays on the realms of the internet are hyperactive or take offense to any ad for fun and giggle. It simply is a schoolboy mistake on part of the woke advertising agencies to not read the room and tug onto a string that is bound to invite severe reaction. Love Jihad has been a sensitive and a delicate issue for the last few years. The Nikita Tomar murder case came out days after the Tanish Cat campaign, bursting the utopian bubble of the company and yet the advertising agency creating the masterful ad would continue to ply its trade. Similarly, the last few days have been a plethora of such ads that have graced our screens. Whether you take a morbid take on the subject to sell your goods like Nike or outrightedly hurt the religious belief of Hindus by making preachy ads like CA tires or endorse events that promote Hindu media like an academy, all the aforementioned companies should take the call to fire their respective ad agencies. The liberal arts universities have come under attack from governments across the world as the return on investment on these institutions is low. And these institutions create the utmost ruckus to the ruling regime. The governments have slashed the funds for these institutions and it seems that the only liberal arts institution to survive in the 21st century are the private ones. If the trend continues of disparaging Hindu beliefs and customs, the government of India should take a leaf out of Abe's book and implement a similar idea in the country.